What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial for you. So in today's video, this is just a quick tip talking about how you can use formulas inside of your dimensions in order to more quickly add things inside of Fusion 360. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Right, so one of the things that Fusion 360 does when dealing with numbers in your models is that it allows you to use fractions and really other functions as well to add dimensions inside of your model. So for example, this gets really important when you're uh, working with more complex measurements that require math to be precise. Um, but for example, um, when you're drawing a line inside of Fusion 360, you can see how I have this set to default to decimal, and it's just defaulting to like 2.5, 2.4, 2.3, things like that. Well, if you wanted to draw something to like two and a quarter, you would type in a value of 2.25 and hit the enter key in order to draw something to 2.25. However, when you're working in Imperial, that can get a little bit frustrating, um, especially when you start dealing with some of those uh, weirder fractions, like things in sixteenths and other things like that. Well, one of the cool things about Fusion 360 is not only can you type in a decimal value, you can also use a function inside of your um, inside of your dimension box in order to get a precise measurement. So let's say for example that I wanted to draw another line that was like one and a sixteenth. So I don't know what the decimal value of a sixteenth is, but I can type in one and then a space and then one divided by sixteen. And so what that does is that actually draws out a line that's one and one sixteenth long. And basically what it's doing is it's using a mathematical function in order to do that. So it's just figuring out that distance. So in this situation, you can just type in that fraction value and that's going to give you that length. So that's a lot easier when you're dealing with imperial measurements. But the other thing you can do is you can also use mathematical functions in there. And so let's say for example that I wanted to cut a notch in this sphere. Well, in order to cut a notch in this sphere, usually what I would do is I would create a sketch and I would put it on this plane that's uh, intersecting the sphere. And then I would come in here and I would model out the size of the notch that I wanna create. Well, let's say for example that this notch needed to be something like 3 sixteenths of an inch. Well, what we would need to do is we would need to start at the middle and then draw something across here that's half of 3 sixteenths of an inch. And then we would need to mirror that across over here. And that can just get a little bit time consuming However, what you can do is you can type in a mathematical function inside of this box. So let's say, for example, that this needed to be 3 sixteenths of an inch. We would type in 3 sixteenths, but then we would type a space, and we would type in divided by, and the value 2. And so what that's going to do is that's going to take 3 sixteenths of an inch and divide it by 2. So what that allows us to do is that allows us to really quickly um, add things in here using mathematical functions. And so that gets even more powerful if you mirror this. So let's say, for example, that we, uh, we wanted to mirror this across this central line. And so we'll draw a line right here. But this gets even more powerful if you mirror this because now if you select all of these and then mirror this across and click OK, well now you can see how you have your dimension in here that you entered. Well, if you click inside of your dimension, you can see how there's actually math going on in here. So this is actually doing the math. It's taking three divided by 16, divided by two and multiplying it by an inch. Well, let's say you decided you wanted this notch to be 5 sixteenths of an inch. Well, you could come in here and you could just change this to 5 sixteenths and hit the enter key. And because this is a mirrored function, you can see how this changes on both sides. So you don't have to go back in and re retype all of this and re-add all of this, it's just in here. And so then um, to finish this off, let's say we wanted to go ahead and add our notch. All we would have to do is just extrude these two shapes and we'll go ahead and have them go two sides or symmetric and click OK. But you can see how adding that notch into this sphere with your accurate dimensions is really easy with those mathematical functions. And so I'm going to link to this in the notes down below, but there's actually a list of the parameters that you can include inside of your dimensions. So for example, you can see how you can do addition, subtraction, but then you can also do more complex things like adding powers. Or if you go down below, there's actually things like sines and cosines. And um, I 
think I saw a random value in here as well. So you could probably have some fun with the random value right here too. But you can use all of these inside of your functions, which really makes this powerful from a calculation standpoint of being able to do um, being able to do really precise, really quick measurements inside of Fusion 360. So kind of a quick video today, but this is really important because it can save you having to go track down that calculator or keep it open on your computer. You can just do your calculations in the dimensions themselves inside of Fusion 360. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.